now it's almost time to do a little bit of math. So we can look at some phase changes, changes of matter, and kind of eventually what we're going to do is measure the energy change from taking um, like a solid ice cube and melting it and then evaporating it. Um, so let's just go over some of these terms. Whenever you're changing, you're going from a solid to a liquid. You know what that's called. That's melting or fusion. And then if you go from a liquid to a solid, that change of matter, that cha that phase change is called freezing, right? You can freeze a liquid and it becomes a solid. Liquid to gas is vaporization. Gas to a liquid is condensation. And then you can also go from a solid right to a gas that's called sublimation. And you see that with like dry ice, carbon dioxide, solid carbon dioxide will just sublime at room temperature. It'll go right to a gas. And then the opposite of that, when you go from a gas to a solid, that's called deposition. So each one of those phase changes requires a certain amount of energy. And so you have the heat of fusion, the heat of vaporization, the heat of sublimation. And it turns out that if um, if you know the heat of fusion, if something, again, we're talking about like delta H's. So if you know the heat of fusion, so if you know what the delta H is in one direction, just put a negative sign in front of it, and that's what the um, that's what it is in the opposite direction. So if something is endothermic in one direction, something absorbs heat in one direction, it's going to be um, it's going to be exothermic in the opposite direction. So all you have to do is change the sign. So in these problems, you're you're going to be even like heat of fusion, heat of vaporization, heat of um, sublimation. But if you need to go in the opposite direction, just change the sign and then it's it's the same uh, numerical value all right so what else can we say about these um so these are delta all the all the different heats heat diffusion vaporization sublimation for different compounds and you can see in general um, the heat of fusion is a lot smaller and the heat of sublimation that's always going to be the biggest there's going to be a big gap between um, fusion and vaporization that's it that's a big difference right to go from so again this is going from a solid to a liquid this is going from a liquid to a gas and this is going from a solid to gas so just think about what's happening there when you go from a solid to gas obviously that's going to take a lot of energy you're taking solid molecules that are really close together and you're giving them enough energy to like spread out completely and become a gas without even having to go through the liquid phase um, so it's crazy but but it happens um, so that's going to have always going to have the biggest change um, if you're just comparing you know solid to liquid versus liquid to gas there's a big difference between those two phases as well all right, so what we'll do is set up like a melting curve. So you have your temperature versus the amount of heat added, and this is what's happening here. I'm gonna start off with um, ice at a really low temperature, so below its freezing point. So this is just frozen water. And then what happens is I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some heat. And when, as I add heat, the temperature goes up until I reach zero. What's special about zero degrees Celsius for water? That's the freezing point or the melting point, depending on what you're doing. So right here, if I keep adding heat to this solid ice cube, I, my temperature is not going to go up, but all that energy is going to go to melting this ice cube. I'm going to melt it. It's going to go from a solid to a liquid right here. And the temperature is not going to increase until everything's turned into a liquid. So I have a solid here, and then this is my phase change. These red lines are the phase changes. I'm going to go from a solid to a liquid. So I'm still adding heat, but the temperature doesn't go up. All that heat, all that energy goes to turning this molecule from a, all the molecules, from a solid to a liquid. And then once I have a liquid, now when I add heat, I'm going to increase the temperature until I get to 100, because that's where water boils. Now, um, if I had a different compound, if I didn't have water, if I had something else, then it wouldn't be at zero and 100. It would be at the freezing point and the boiling point of whatever substance I was dealing with. I, I'm just dealing with water right here, so we already know those. That's zero and that's 100. So as uh, so I increase the, the temperature, I keep adding heat, the temperature increases until I get to 100, and then I get a phase change from liquid to gas, because that's what happens. That's my vaporization or all the energy see how much longer it takes to, i have to add a lot more heat in order to get all of that converted from a liquid to a gas because right? think about the structure of you know liquid how close the atoms are in a solid versus a liquid like solid to liquid i just have to move them a little bit all right now they separate a little bit now i have a liquid but for a gas they have to like separate completely so liquid to gas it's, it's going to take a lot more heat uh, and then once everything's converted to a gas i can increase the temperature and now I just have a really hot gas, so now I have steam. So in order to do these kind of problems, you basically you're going to set this up, split it up into um, five steps, right? So step one is here. Um, I have a temperature change, right? So I know what I know how to measure heat when I have a temperature change, right? That's just um, right. Q equals oops. Q equals M C 
delta t, right, where m is the, remember this from chapter 5, m is the mass, c is the specific heat, and delta t is the change in temperature. And then here, this is where I have a phase change. I'm changing the phase of matter. I need to know what that delta h is. So in step 2, I need to look at the delta h, and I have whatever um, delta h is times however many moles I have. That's fine. And then in step 3, I have another temperature change. So right, step 1, I'm going from a solid to a liquid. I'm sorry, I'm going from a solid to a solid, right? I'm just increasing the temperature of the solid. In step two, I'm going, I have a phase change. I'm going from a solid to a liquid, so I need that delta H. And then in step three, I'm, I have a liquid and I'm just, it's just getting hotter, so I have another change in temperature. So I have Q equals MC delta T again. The difference now is the C is going to change. This is the C for a solid. This is the C for a liquid. I have a liquid now. And then in four, I have another phase change. So that's three, this is four. Now I want my delta H, a different delta H, right? This first one was my delta H of fusion. And this is my delta H of vaporization, because now I'm going from a liquid to a gas. And I want to multiply that by the moles. You also have to be careful here, because this M is the mass in grams. And this M, these are the moles in moles. And then the last step here is step five. I'm changing the temperature again. So I have a Q equals MC delta T. And that delta T is going to be the final minus initial for this, this space here. And this delta T is the final minus the initial here. So that one's 100. And then this one is final minus initial. So this is 25. And this one also is 25 because it was 125 minus 100. So those delta T's are for each individual step, not the entire um, you know, zero, negative 125 to positive, sorry, it's not from negative 25 to 125, it's at each little step. So this delta t is, a, is 25, this one's 100, that delta t is 25. So we're going to use, oh, sorry, and this is a liquid to gas, and then this one is just a gas getting hotter. So whenever you have a change in temperature, so those, those blue pieces there, 1, 3, and 5, you want to use q equals mc delta t, where m, that's not going to change. Every single, for every step, that mass is the same. Uh, the specific heat will change. The delta T will change. Um, and then from delta H to delta H, it depends on where you are in there. So let's try one of these. Let's see if we can finish this. Um, so again, we're calculating from negative 25 to 125. And it's, it corresponds to that picture up there. I'll just draw it again. So I have 25, 0, all the way up to 100, and then up. Right, so I have zero, I'm sorry, I have negative 25 to zero. I have zero to 100, and then I have 100 to 125. And those numbers, if I give you another problem, those could change, right? They're, they have to tell you what temperature you're starting at, what temperature you're finishing at, but you're always gonna have, well, not always, you, you could have, if I started in the middle, I wouldn't have five steps, but at most you can have um, five steps here. So let's try this one. And they also give us the, uh, specific heats. So this is my C um, for solid, liquid, and gas, and then my delta H of fusion and my delta H of vaporization. So for step one, right, I have Q equals MC delta T, and my mass here, do they tell us I have one mole? I have one mole of substance, so I know that for one mole of water, one mole, the molar mass is what, 18.02 grams of water. So that's how much, that's what I have. So those my ones cancel. So my mass here is going to be 18.02 grams. My specific heat is 2.03 joules per gram K. And my delta T is right here. My delta T is um, final, zero minus negative 25. So that just gives me 25. So I'll work that out. Okay, so uh, what I did there was I converted the uh, 914 joules to kilojoules because when I went down here to do the delta H, so in step two, we just want the phase change over so here, delta H times moles. Delta H of fusion is 6.01 uh, kilojoules per mole times one mole. And that's just the same thing, so you get your kilojoules. And then at the end, what we're going to do is add everybody up, so I want to make sure that we have the right um, units for everybody. 
Uh, the next step is another Q equals MC delta T. And I'm running out of time, so I'm going to do that on the next video.